Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back. My name is Taz. Today's video, we're going to try out a bunch of complexion products that are new to me. We have a lot of complexion stuff to try today. So if you guys are interested in today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share with your friends. Help me grow my channel. I really, really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, I do want to do a shade comparison. So. This is the HD Skin by Makeup Forever. This is the shade Warm Porcelain. And this is the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. This is shade 2. This is the Dior Skin Glow Foundation in the shade YW. It's a true warm undertone. And this is my perfect match currently. This is the Jelly Tilbury Beautiful Skin in the shade 3 Neutral feel like this shade is kind of a, a little light if i do want to use it all over my face it looks a little too pasty too pale i'm talking about the denisa myrick's yummy skin blurring balm the dior and the hd skin i can definitely make these two work move on to the concealer shade comparison you guys can see this is the say beauty shade number two it's just a weird shade of peach compared to the beautiful skin it's like darker than the beautiful skin foundation i don't know it's just a weird shade of peach and this is my normal go-to the luminous cell concealer in the shade four this is the mirror skin complexion stick in the shade silk this one is the tom ford emotion proof in the shade pale doom i don't know i feel like the shade of peach is just a little odd i mean i can make it work but i just really don't care for this shade I'm gonna quickly moisturize. I'm using the Rich Bitch Cactus Vitamin C Moisturizer by Freck. I'm going to moisturize really quickly before our foundation. For the foundation today, I definitely want to test out the Makeup Forever HD Skin on one side of my face. So on this side of my face, I'm going to do the Forever Skin Glow. So just a little comparison so you guys can have an idea of both. And I think for the concealer today, I'm going to continue to try the same concealer. I tried it out yesterday just, just to vibe it out and see how I like it. So I'm going to try this one on as well for today. And we also have this Dior Backstage Powder to try. Also have the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm, which I tried it out for a little bit. I'm not so sure if this is the product for me. So let's go ahead and apply. Just doing a Rare Beauty Foundation Brush. And we're gonna go in. This foundation is surprisingly very, very skin-like. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's not overly dewy. It's more of like a very natural type of a foundation. I thought it was going to be very glowy, but actually it's not. But it kind of took me by surprise because I really enjoy how my skin looks after the HD skin. And I really, really like my skin. It just looks so natural, you know, it's not overly dewy. Or anything like that I will say this is just a very natural finish but it looks like my skin but better it is so skin like it actually wears quite well as well so this is what it looks like for the HD the makeup forever HD skin and I have not even finished the whole pump half pump is more than enough for me I really like this coverage it is definitely light to medium buildable coverage. I feel like you can build it to like a good true medium coverage. I like a light medium situation, a little medium leaning. Um, and the finish is just a very natural finish. It's not overly dewy. It's not overly dry. It's a good in between. And I do feel like my skin looks so much like skin it's so skin like okay so on this side of my face i am going to the dior forever skin glow foundation this one i also wore it out um, the other night for like 10 plus hours you guys can already see the undertone is slightly a little different i feel like the warm porcelain has a little bit of that peachy tone 
and this one is like a true um, yellow undertone so let's go ahead and apply I'm going to do the Laura Lee L11 brush this one also has a bit of a fragrance <laughs> so if you're sensitive to fragrances this one definitely has that floral type of a fragrance like a lot of like high-end foundations do do that it definitely has some sort of fragrance in it like a little light floral scent but throughout the day it does dissipate so this is the forever skin glow I do want to build up a little bit on this side just to see what kind of effect it's giving because for now, I do feel like the two looks kind of similar. What do you guys think? You can comment down below. Let me know. I do feel like these two foundations are actually kind of similar actually. So I do want to build it up a little bit just to see if you can see the glow better. Yeah. Now you can kind of see the it's a lot more glowy. Yeah, once you build it up, you can actually see the glow and it, it is very pretty. Right? Um, I feel like the HD skin is just not as glowy, just more of like a natural finish. Whereas the Forever Glow is definitely glowier. And I gotta say, Forever Skin Glow does wear pretty well throughout the day. So just letting you guys know. But we shall see throughout this video because I'm also going to do a wear test, of course. Um, so this is the Forever Skin Glow Foundation on the side. This is the HD, HD Skin by Makeup Forever. I will say as far as the coverage goes, they're both light medium buildable coverage you can definitely build it up and i'm happy with the coverage because i don't really care for like a full full coverage i think like a true medium coverage is something that's right up in my alley um but as far as the finish go of course i love a glowy finish always but for some reason i feel like the hd skin just gives that really skin like natural finish which i actually do enjoy let's go ahead and apply the concealer all right so just to let you guys see the shade differences this is the say beauty concealer i do feel like this shade is a little bit odd it's shade two but the undertone is just so strange it's almost like a peach pinky peach undertone which is not something that I normally go for as far as like a uh, concealer goes. This is a little too deep for me. I do feel like I would maybe a shade lighter. Um, this color is a little, I don't know. I just find it a little weird. And the Dofa applicator is actually a little stiff. I'm not 100% like loving the Dofa. I'm going to go in with the Esper Concealer Brush by Real Techniques because this one is clean right now. I mean, this coverage is like a uh, like a light coverage kind of concealer. It does have like a little bit of the satin type of a feel. Definitely has some sort of glow. You guys can see. So I would say it's definitely like a glowy under eye concealer. My first impression from yesterday, I think it was okay. I do feel like the shade is a little, a little weird. I don't, I don't really like, kind of think this concealer is okay. I'm not like a hundred percent loving it you know but i don't hate it either it was just one of those oh okay a new concealer that type of a vibe it doesn't really do a whole lot for me i think so for the powder today i really do want to try the dior backstage powder it is highly highly raved about on 
TikTok and I'm definitely very interested to try. I also got the Givenchy Prism Libre loose powder. So maybe we can try that as well. I have been trying it for the past couple of days. Let's maybe try one side with the Dior and the other side with the Prism Libre. Okay, I am just going to a Wingoss 01 brush and tapping a little bit on the on the brush and I'm just going to lightly tap over you guys know i don't really care for setting my makeup i prefer it pretty glowy throughout the day and also my under eyes i normally just lightly powder like that i don't really bake so that is the side with the powder it is a very soft very very soft powder it doesn't seem like a lot it seems to be very finely milled. Slightly mattified, but not a whole lot. I still like that, you know, my face still have some sort of a glow. You know what? Let's try out the yummy skin on the right side as a setting powder. I don't exactly know how this is going to pan out, um, but I'm very interested to see this in action as a setting powder. This is the color shade 2 on the top. It is a very warm undertone, kind of close to the forever skin glow, and that's the yummy skin. I'm going to take a little bit on the sponge and just maybe set it as a setting powder. I don't know exactly how is it going to work. It's kind of weird as a setting powder like i'm not so sure if it's actually setting anything you know i don't know can you guys tell the difference yeah this doesn't doesn't really feel like it's setting anything down so maybe i will still go over i, I think i will still like like to go over with like a powder 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 yeah this product is kind of a a weird one i don't exactly know if this is fitting into my daily routine i'm my skin is extremely dry and i when i only wear this i don't know i just feel like something is a, a little bit something is missing for me you know it is pretty matte on the skin as well so maybe it's me don't exactly know how to use it but i'm just not a huge fan of it so I'm going to the Prism Liberated powder. This is the shade 3. Okay, so I turned down the light. You guys can sort of see what the face is looking like. Let's go ahead and set it together with the Prism Liberated. Don't want to use too much because I kind of realize if I use too much, it can look a little... I don't know how to describe it. Let's apply it together. I just take a little bit on the puff and I'm going to... Just, you know, set down a little bit of the base. And you guys can see, knock down the shine really, really quickly, right? It does give me that really matte look. This is the side set with the Dior face and body powder. And this is the side with the Prism Liberated. Um, zero three. Let me zoom you in on the under eye. I do really enjoy the Prism Libre. Like it kind of gives you that like really filtered look. And this is a side with the Dior face and body. And the under eye still looks pretty glowy. Like I said, it already has creased. And yeah, let me zoom you guys in on the nose does it look a little dry here it doesn't look as dry but you can still see the texture a little bit but this side kind of looks a little dry huh yeah you can see the dryness for sure and the forehead kind of settles a little bit it didn't settle as much on this side. 
Let me set a little bit more on the, on the under eyes just to see what happened. Yeah, that's as much as the face and body powder works. It's not super duper mattifying, obviously, not like, like the loose powder. It really just super set the whole face. Um, I'm talking about the appearance. Face and body powder still leaves you with a little bit of a luminosity. You guys can still see that. And as far as the smile line goes, I do... I can see a little bit. I can see a little bit on this side a little more because of the face and body didn't really set down this area, but the um, the prism lip red kind of filled in a little bit of the gap. And so let me tell you guys the time. It is 7.37 p.m. And I'll definitely come back and check back in with you guys and let you know how everything worked. But right off the bat, I already see some trouble with the concealer i already see there's some powder gathering here it kind of grabs on the powder for some reason you guys see that yeah that's not a good sign that's a little weird but it didn't really do that on this side interesting so yeah i will be back and check back in with you guys i will see you guys in a little bit guys i am here to do a quick check-in it is 10 44 we're about a good three hour period so this is the side with the the or forever skin glow and this is the side with the ultra hd uh the ultras why do i keep on calling ultra hd skin on this side and i think you guys probably can tell forever skin glow still is a lot more glowy and this side is pretty matte for my personal liking but it doesn't look bad it's just more matte you know and i feel like on the glamour days or you know when i'm doing photography i actually really don't mind the madness of it all which is very very rare for me to say so you gotta ignore the glasses mark and so i'll zoom you in at the under eye I feel like this eye wears a little better than this. For some reason, it was the powder kind of got stuck. Yeah, you guys can see. I do feel like the rest of the face are pretty intact. I will say around the nose and the side of the nose kind of definitely wore off. You guys can see that, right? Yeah, so that's our three, which is not terrible not bad for our three and the smile line kind of did not worsen it kind of stayed pretty much how it was when i initially applied it it kind of did not worsen so that part i'm happy about forehead lines it look okay could be worse i've seen worse it kind of didn't settle anymore so yeah i'll definitely be back later and I'm probably gonna play with some makeup. So yeah, I'll be back later and chat back in with you guys at the end of the day. Okay, you guys, so it is currently 1.44. So I will say we're a good six hour in and I just did this makeup look. I think I will be posting it on my reels. Anyway, I am just here checking in. The Or Skin Glow Foundation I already wore 10 plus hour the other night. I will go ahead and insert that footage right now so i am checking it in with my cell phone i started glamming around i will say maybe 6 30 p.m and now it's like 4 4 30 a.m already i was out all night i tried out the new dior forever skin glow i actually tried it before before they reformulate it yeah it does say 24 hour wear radiant foundation what do we think so that's what the face look like. It's been 10 hours. Honestly, there is some missing patch here. We went to eat after we drink a lot today. Yeah, you see the around the nose definitely didn't wear super well, but I was I didn't really apply um a whole lot of concealer around this place today. Underneath my eyes though. So today I use my usual 
Armani Luminous Silk, and I do the Tom Ford on the dark spots. And then the Givenchy Prism Libre that's all over TikTok right now. It's so viral. I just, I'm so curious. And this is what my under eye is currently looking like. I mean, 10 hours. 10 hours this under eye honestly like it took me by surprise i was not expecting to like a powder so much i'm gonna try it again like another video this is just a check-in moment but honestly like i was not expecting to like a powder or anything like that you guys know i normally don't set too too much if anything i probably just lightly powder but today um i used the um I used uh, the powder puff that it came with um, and then I powder puffed it and I just never really expecting my under eye look super mad like this. I can't say I hate it. I actually kind of, I'm kind of into it, especially the initial application. It was honestly like filter looking skin and I actually really did enjoy it. It might be a little too matte for my liking, but I did enjoy it. And yeah, that is the makeup for today. I do feel like it could have been worse. Um, there definitely is a little settling around here. I mean, in my memory, I did feel like the Aura, um, the Skin Glow Foundation. I remember it was a lot more dewier than this. But I don't know, for some reason, I'm not really glowy or dewy. I don't really feel that. What do you guys think? Anyway, so that is a little bit of my 10 hour check-in. I just wanna say I am actually pretty impressed with the foundation and the powder. Yeah, I do wanna include this little clip in the video and hopefully you guys can see my, my face does hold up quite well, um, except the normal around the nose and the, the chin has a little bit of that. But also I did use my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter setting spray. So it definitely has helped for sure. And yeah, that is the face and the check-in for today. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, now you are back. So you sort of know how the Dior behave. It is a pretty solid foundation. I really do enjoy it. Right now it's acting pretty consistent. I will say everything is pretty much intact on my face the settling on the fine lines is pretty minimal for me so yeah I, I really do think it is a beautiful foundation quite long wearing as well i really really do enjoy the dior forever skin glow foundation on the other hand the hd skin i do feel like after setting with the prism libre powder or maybe the yummy skin maybe it's like double the powder or something like that it just looks a little dry in this area right here yeah i just want to show you guys the dry patch there is a patch kind of some sort of dryness around here so i will be careful if you do have dry skin and you set your makeup a lot just be careful on your dry patches. I really do prefer this foundation on set. They actually both did not settle too, too much into the fine lines, especially my forehead lines. Yeah, that aspect I'm very, very pleased with. Yeah, around the nose, I have um, touched it up with the Mirror Skin Complexion Stick. So that kind of didn't count, but I was taking photos, you know, it, it was gone already. It was all red, so I had to cover it up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like hour six, this is not looking too, too bad. I've definitely seen worse. Both of them has a good light to medium coverage. I think you can build them both up to like a good medium coverage. This one probably you can build it up even more if you do want to. And I feel like the only difference is the finish. This one definitely is a little bit more glowy. I wouldn't say the glowiness is like the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. This is a pretty natural glowy look, which I really do enjoy. This one is giving me my skin, but better, very natural finish. This one though, I really can't can really over powder or powder too much. I mean, for me, I prefer it on set on my skin. I feel like when I don't have it set, it does look really just natural finish on my skin. It looks like my skin, but better. 
And if I want to build it up, it does look a lot more covered. It looks so good on camera as well. You know, you guys know I do take pictures. I, that aspect, I really, really do love. So yeah, I can probably see if you guys do have like combo or oily. This might be pretty versatile for combo or oily skin. If you do have those skin types, you can comment down below. Let me know if you guys love the HD skin. Personally, on my skin, I really, really do enjoy it. I shouldn't have said it today just to show you guys how good it looks. But if you do follow me on Instagram, I sort of talk about it looks so skin-like and it actually wore pretty well as well. Um, I think on that day, I probably wore it for like a good nine or 10 hours as well. It looked good throughout the day. It did fade, but it was like a gradual fade it's not one of those like patch off type of a break apart type of a fade both of the foundation i actually do really enjoy they're not really new new but i really do enjoy them both for different reason both wear pretty well so yeah it really depends on like what you guys are looking for you guys probably already see the swatch comparison in the beginning of the video yeah that's pretty much my thoughts on the foundation now let's chat about the concealer i gotta say the concealer is just really not working out for me this one just set terribly with the powder um this one was not doing too too bad but i do notice it became kind of dry and creasy on the under eyes you guys can see it on the zoom in but there's just absolutely nothing super duper special about the concealer i don't get the hype yes it is a natural dewy finish but it just doesn't really last on the skin and around the nose it was it was completely faded i had to reapply a little bit of the mirror back to my point my point is this concealer i think you can skip it's really nothing super duper special nothing that you don't already have in your collection i feel like the color is pretty off you know shade two is a really weird peachy color not too deep for my skin tone and it kind of set a little weird um, with the powder on top of that it definitely has creased so yeah it was Eh, I think you deserve better concealer. Say beauty concealer was just a A okay, whatever. On the scale of 1 to 10, it's like a 4, 3 or 4, the type of a feel. I didn't feel like it was anything super duper special about the concealer. And let's move on to chat about the powder. The Dior Backstage um, powder, it is very finely milled. Not like a flat matte powder. It definitely has a slight bit of a sheen in it. If you do look at it up close, I can see a little bit of a pearly sheen to the powder it is very lightweight it doesn't feel heavy or cakey i wouldn't necessarily like this powder with the concealer though but it could be because the concealer was not really doing too well with powder anyway so yeah i have to test it out some more to give you guys an update on the Dior. and let's move on to the prism libret I, I will have to you know really play around i think it's not super perfect with the HD skin foundation. It's already quite matte. You know, I do feel like on top of that, it kind of cleans on my dryness a little bit. But I remember my first impression, I was kind of blown away because I rarely kind of set my under eyes and stuff. So I will have to do a separate video on the Prism Liver Powder. I think that powder deserves its own video. When do it right, it can look so filtered and so perfect. I do feel like as the day went on, it kind of started to look a little dry. As far as the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm, I, I gotta say it's a pass for me. I just, I don't really feel like that's a product that's marketing towards me. I still got really curious to wanted to try it out, but it kind of just is a little too much hustle for me. I don't know what to do with it because I don't really bake. It's kind of a little weird to set my face with the skin balm. I'm kind of um, not sure if that's what I should do. I have tried it on its own. It just looked too dry on me. I can't really pull it off. It's very matte. On my skin, there's not a whole lot of glow to it. You guys know I love a glowy look. And I don't know if you guys can see, it kind of just separated. It separated right here. It is acting very weird. And it just immediately cling to the dry patch. 
This one really doesn't give me a glowy look as a foundation and I already don't set my makeup heavy. I was thinking maybe I can use it as an eye primer, but then again, I mostly use concealer these days. So for me to, you know, dig into a jar and apply it on my eyes, I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot of work for me to make this product work for me. So kind of for that reason, this kind of did not work out. Alrighty guys, that's it for me today. I really hope that you guys enjoy this little mini review of these products and I really hope that this video is helpful. Comment down below, let me know if you guys have tried any of these products. If you have not, would you be interested in trying? Again, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you have not subscribed, I would really, really love for you to subscribe, join the fam. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.